But when we come back, we'll be speaking to two Australian sporting heroes. Okay, try two Australian <laughs> bloggers who are giving funny daily online updates from their base in Hamilton. Mossy and Robbo will see you after the break. Welcome back to the Riverside Show. Now, as we know, Scotland has exceeded all expectations with our amazing medal halt at the Commonwealth Games. But top of the medal table, as usual, are our friends from down under with Australia already having bagged over 100 medals in the first week of competition. Yikes, that's a lot of medals. But with so many medals pouring in, it's hard for Aussie fans to keep across it all. Luckily for them, two Australians are providing daily updates online. Welcome to the wrap-up of Day 6 here at the XX Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. I'm Mossy, he's Robbo, and this is Glasgow Gold. Now, Day 6 Robbo traditionally is a rest day. Uh, I'm labelling this one the greatest rest day since 1966 in Kingston, Jamaica, and didn't they love a rest day back then? For us, Robbo, we uh, had a lot of time on our hands. We're not quite used to that. Uh, tell everyone what we got up to. Look, it was good to get an extra few Zs in this morning, so caught up on some much-needed sleep. You, oh, I think I've got my voice back. Uh, only to probably lose it again tomorrow, so we'll see how that goes. Able to do a bit of washing, restock the iron brew, uh, which is important, and also we got time to go for a little run. We actually, where we're staying here in Hamilton's not far from the, the scene of the triathlon, and so unfortunately we were a few days late for the triathlon action. Didn't stop us having a, a run around the beautiful surrounds of the Strathclyde Country Park. So it was great, Mossy, just to take stock. Obviously, the whole games didn't get a rest day. Um, it would that be ridiculous? But we got our important rest day, and it was well needed. March on for the final second half of the games. Now, Robbo, the Ginger Games, this is one that's the homeland for the Gingers. It's one where I can feel comfortable. <laughs> well, it is. And uh, watching the five screens I had laid out today for the <laughs> athletics, it was fantastic. I could watch uh, 1,500 metres. I could watch the wheelchair races. I could watch the long jump. I saw a particularly uh, good-looking uh, ginger yep. by the name of oh, Greg, sorry, mate. Greg yeah. Rutherford. No, it wasn't you. Uh, Greg Rutherford, and you can see him here. This guy, uh, Olympic gold medalist, he's eyeing off a potential gold medal here if our Aussies can't beat him to it. Uh, he is the epitome of a uh, good-looking jumping ranger. Absolutely. I'll tell you what else is making the games, uh, Robbo, is the fact people can come here and win competitions. They can win medals. So let's have a look at uh, the update of Glasgow gold medal tally. Yes, Mossy. Well, it's slowed down a little bit at the top there. Australia narrowly holding on. They've got 34 golds. We've we got four more today. Daniel Tranter in the 200 individual medley as uh, Clyde's hogging the pot of gold here. The women's medley, relay, four by 100. We've got another gold there. And then in the shooting, it was Adam Bella and David Chapman getting a couple of goals there. So it takes us to 34. Mossy, England, 33. They're looking ominous. And you can't uh, get enough. You don't get sick and tired of hearing the rattle of the coins going no. into the pot of gold. That's right. Well, it's still filling up. But Canada now, they've moved into third place, 16. Scotland stays on 13. And that's their highest tally ever in Com Games history. Uh, so if we look at the all-important tally now, Scotch Ralea, 47 gold, 138 total. England, 33 gold and 93 total. Well, today we saw another day of athletics out there. We know we're huge lovers of athletics because let's just face it, it's the purest of sports. Um, tomorrow, it's a big jumping day celebrating the bringing back Jumpy uh, from Oblivion. Yeah, look, I can't wait to, to get stuck into the jumps. But just quickly today, Mossy, my play of the day was young Nick Huff who ran and jumped his way to a fourth place in his first senior meet. Uh, quite phenomenal. He's a guy that rises to the big occasion. So I think he's going to be uh, headed for Gold Coast Gold in another four years or so. Kurt Fernley was out there, Christy Dawes, both of them in the wheelchair events, easily going through to the finals. Sophie Stamwell's one to watch. She's in the heptathlon tomorrow. We'll be there to cheer her on. She might even jag a medal. Uh, so lots of great action, Mossy. And uh, yeah, it's a day of jumps tomorrow. So let's sink our teeth into that. Well, that's all we've got time here for another day on the Double X Commonwealth Games here in Glasgow. We hope you enjoyed your rest day. We look forward to tomorrow with great optimism. 
Well, we're joined now by Mossy and Robbo. Guys, thank you very much for joining us on the Riverside Show tonight. Um, and you've even got your own tartan couch on the show because you have this in your online episodes, don't you? That's right. It's a big part of the following that we've had in Australia, um, largely around the athletics. And so, yeah, the tartan couch, we've been really building up to the Glasgow Games. And so everywhere we go, we take the tartan couch. It's great to be here. Perfect. And yeah, and you've got a friend behind yeah, you as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is Jumpy. He's probably uh, the greatest mascot, we say, probably just in front of Clyde. Um, he's come all the way from Australia. He's had a great time uh, out here and really captured the, the hearts and minds of the, the whole nation, I, I believe, anyway. And the latest blog, he got a wee bit of an injury as well. Has he recovered from that? You see, yeah. you did a pretty good job in yeah, moving it was a, on Yeah, it was a pretty uh, tough excursion out there Difficult, in, yeah. in Hamilton. Uh, we, we figured out there was about 15 holes, and so we had to buy a number of packs. And Yikes. We did really well, then we had to come back and do another one. So, yeah, it was a, a bit of a difficulty. But in the end, look at him. He's if, he he if, he, if he lasts the show, we've done well. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> fighting fit by the looks of things. And have you guys been enjoying the games in Glasgow so far? Look, we're absolutely pinching ourselves. I think you're going to have to kick us out of the country um, <laughs> when the opening ceremony, uh, the closing ceremony happens because uh, we, you know, it's just been so well received. I think the games, we stood in the line to get some tickets uh, on the day before the games kicked off and the buzz and the weather, um, we don't need to mention that, but I think Glasgow has really embraced it and all the other countries that have come on board and other Aussies we've spoken to have mm. been really impressed by just how well you guys have turned it on. So, yeah, as I said, it's, it's really, uh, you know, been a special thing for us. So you guys are staying in Hamilton, is that right? Is there a particular reason you've chosen to stay in Hamilton here when you've been over? Absolutely. I mean, back home in uh, Newcastle, Australia, Hamilton is probably the biggest feature uh, of, of the whole uh, of Newcastle as a city. Uh, so we decided, well, why stay in the city? Why don't we uh, go out and get somewhere we're a, a little bit more familiar? Uh, so we chose Hamilton, which is, you know, I guess one thing we talk about, uh, back in 1930 when the Commonwealth Games first started, Hamilton, Ontario, uh, we're actually making a push uh, 2030, which will be uh, celebrating 100 years of the Commonwealth Games, to have it in Hamilton uh, in our city. And look, I have to admit, uh, there's only us who were uh, put up nominations so far, <laughs> so I think we're going to get it. Yeah. Sure, we bring it back to Hamilton. Yeah, Moz and Robbo all the way for That's the right. return of the Games to Hamilton. That's it. And what about the people in Hamilton, uh, here in Scotland, just outside of Glasgow, how do they compare to the people back home? Oh, I think Hamilton, Hamiltonians all around the world are known <laughs> for being friendly creatures, and it's no different here. In fact, we caught up with the uh, Hamilton Ackies under-15 uh, girls football team yesterday, and they were big supporters. And look, everywhere we've went, we've been, at whether it's been in the Boots Pharmacy, uh, I think it was Heather there we, that served us the other day. Um, look, I guess we don't blend in that well. We, we stand out. So <laughs> everywhere we go, and with Jumpy, we're a bit of a um, bit of a talking point. So, but it's been great, and everyone's been so friendly. Have you had a highlight of the game so far? Is there one moment that stood out for you? Yep. Yeah. Marathon gold medal for me. I'm a, I'm a runner, one. that's my background, and uh, seeing that, and, and Jumpy was there at the finish line, and uh, that was very special, and a bronze medal um, for Jess Trengove as well, so that, that was great. Incredible result um, in that. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it for me, it was the lawn bowls. <laughs> we went along to the lawn bowls, uh, when we got there it was quite sedate, we had to go along and sort of pinch people to get them to sort of wake <laughs> up, and then we decided to create the vibe and the atmosphere. Uh, next thing you know, we're pretty much arm in arm with a guy by the name of Kelvin Kirko, uh, which anyone from Australia will know. He's a bowls legend um, and he was uh, getting us to G up the crowd and we brought the Aussies home to beat England uh, on the uh, final bowl. Wow. So that's been a huge, uh, for me, that's been the highlight for sure. Great High drama. drama. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, and a little bit further down the pecking order was uh, saying good day to Lizzie and uh, Harry, Wills and Kate as well. Nice. So that's yeah. I like that. Just saying good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the casual. jumpy get to meet. Yeah, well, well, actually, well. jumpy uh, was, was next to the royal car, the royal mobile. Um, he was <laughs> trying to put his case forward to be uh, the driver, um, but he can't get his paws around the uh, steering wheel, so it would never work. But there, yeah. he, got, yeah. he got down there. He's yeah. our lucky charm. I mean, yeah. until we got him on board, we were pretty much, um, you know, no one knew who we were, but as soon as <laughs> Jumpy comes on, everyone wants to get a piece of him. Jumpy's the same We were stopped show. in the streets on the way to here, that's why we were running a little bit late, because everyone wanted a picture with uh, Jumpy. He's Crazy. a celebrity now. All right. Do you think right. he's, he's more famous than you guys? Oh, well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think he's got 72 followers on Twitter, and you can follow him at Jumpy Official. <laughs> nice. If we can get to 100 by the end of the show, uh, Jumpy's going to shout us a deep fried Mars bar. No, I think. It's, it's, what, a, what a lad. <laughs> what a lad Jumpy is. Now, we saw in your most recent sort of blog that you started a campaign for Scotsralia. Scotsralia, we're going to join the two. We're sitting in Scotland couch here. Yes. We've got an Australian couch here. We're going to merge the two. Yeah. Middle table? I think so. 
this is a good way to go for both yep, uh-huh. well, for us anyway. It's a good <laughs> Look, we, to go. we love our, the same as you guys, we love our friendly rivalry with the English and uh, they were looking like they were going a little too well, picking up medals in the pool and in many sports in yeah. fact. So we thought, well, why not, before they maybe jump Australia, let's combine forces, Scott, uh, Scotland and Australia. Scotland's done so well, so with your 13 gold medals and our, I think, 34 at last count, yeah. we, we've got England covered. So, Scott Australia, uh, we reckon there's something in that. I think that's the way for Straight to the top like of the medal, the medal table. Oh, Can we're yes. way yeah. in front of the, the English. We're flying out there in front. So, yeah, we definitely think it's, it's going to take off, definitely. I think so. Yeah, well, so watch, the, watch this space <laughs> then. Is that what it is? So, you're campaigning to bring Commonwealth Games back to. Uh, Hamilton, Hamilton and for Scotland Scott really yeah. to get on the medal table. The Busy unstoppable guys. team. That's, yeah, that's, yeah, right. that's it. Um, now, obviously, you guys are having a lot of fun around the games, but Australian athletes do take the Commonwealth Games pretty seriously, don't they? They do. Yeah, it's look. It's a, it sits in a very important part of the Australian psyche. I guess we do so well, and uh, that we were accused a little while ago of doing too well, and it was losing its effect uh, a little bit. So it's great to see. Um, especially the home nations being very competitive in places like the pool, uh, giving us a good run for our money. But uh, yeah, Aussies, Aussies love it. It's, it's a rich history. It's been held in Australia a number of times and it's back to the Gold Coast after you guys have yeah. finished with it as well. So we'll, we'll, t- we'll be taking the baton back from uh, Glasgow uh, at the closing ceremony and taking it down to the Gold Coast. And if we can even capture a percentage of the vibe that you guys have created here, it'll be a great game. Yeah, me and David can pop over for that. Yeah. Gold Coast, Are you guys going to be you can, you can come and sleep, sleep on the tarp couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, sure. Deal. That's it. We've got a bed for the night. Sorted. <laughs> ah. No, obviously so the talk of the games today, Usain Bolt made some comments that he's uh, maybe not thinking these are the best games, allegedly. This is all sort of alleged, and he said he's not said anything, but what would you say to Bolt? Well, look, at the end of the day, um, you know, we don't listen to you, Usain. Uh, what we listen to is our hearts and minds, and, <laughs> and we know the chief of our mission. We don't speak French, so we don't say chef de Michon. Uh, he's a guy, by the, a legend by the name of uh, Steve Monaghetti, and he's calling this the greatest games uh, since the last ones. Fantastic. Guys, yeah. thank you so much for coming in today. Coming up after the break, we'll be in the kitchen with Ryan James from the Glasgow Restaurant Association who's going to be kicking our tea for the tenor tonight. Mm-hmm.